So the show is going to start. Hi everyone, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, and welcome to another episode of Just Baron. This is the Just A Lab. So if you're new to the channel, last year I posted my automatic musical Christmas lights. So I have the device here, it's not in any kind of waterproof case or anything because I'm planning to build like a tree printed case and stuff for this later. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that for Christmas this year probably, but next year, I have a lot of plans for next year. Um, so subscribe. When I press play, So I cut that video there before YouTube gives me another copyright strike, but you can check that video out on my channel. And for those of you who watched that video, liked and comment, I really appreciate it. So this year, I want to do an upgraded version. Version 1 has seen some better days. The audio jack actually broke off. Those mechanical relays were really noisy, and I think the board could do with a Christmas spirit facelift. Something in Christmas PCB this year and solid state relays. So that's sure to keep Santa happy and keep me from getting cold in my stockings this year. You're officially off the naughty list! So let's get started. So this project is built around the MSG EQ7, which is a seven band graphic equalizer. And what it is, it has a bunch of filters inside of it, well bandpass filters, and it takes the sound and split it up into seven different frequencies. And then the Arduino could measure the amplitude of those frequencies, which is what gives us the nice light show. Last year's version only did three lights. So I actually grouped up some of those bands to give us lows, mids, and highs. This year, I want to do all seven. I want each band to control a light. So yeah, so I headed to Kika to do this design. So the circuit diagram actually looks pretty similar to last year. Um, I added a few things. I rearranged the GPIOs so that I can get uh, a group of seven GPIOs to control the relays. So I also added a potentiometer this year. And the reason for that is previously, I used to hard code the level at which triggers the light. Now this is a way that I can manually adjust that on the field to give us uh, different kinds of lighting effects where either the lights are more sensitive to parts of the music. The dot matrix is about the same. We have the um, DC DC converter. Well, the graphic equalizer part remains the same. Um, with regards to the PCB design, um, it was really difficult to try to decide on what kind of PCB. Um, I was thinking about a Christmas tree kind of look, but I know real estate will be kind of difficult on a Christmas tree unless I make the PCB really big. Um, I was also thinking about like a round Christmas ornament, but I actually later settled on a Christmas present because rectangular PCB is already nice. But one thing I really wanted to add, and I wasn't sure if the manufacturer was able to do it, was to add a bow on top. So I went a little bit overboard with the pictures on the cell screen, but I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I went with all true whole components, and the reason why this is, is I want this thing to be easy, solderable for anybody. The bow is nice and visible. I rotate the board and the back, I kept the Christmas present look. I'm, I'm really interested to also see how this comes out after manufacturing. Now for this, I'm using PCBWay. Now I use them in work all the time and in my experience, they have one of the fastest turnaround times. Christmas is right around the corner and I'm trying to get this video done before Christmas. So the good thing right now is PCBWay has a really big end of year sale going on. So you can make sure and get all your coupons and stuff and get really big discounts on PCB services. So, so ordering is pretty simple. I keep everything generally the same as they have it here. Um, you have to take a minimum of five pieces. If the board works, I would probably give away um, three of these. One of the difficult things about ordering with PCB way is trying to pick a color for the PCB. And because they have so much different colors, um, I was thinking to go with the Christmas red or Christmas green. 
but I ended up going with the green just to stay with the same look as the picture. So once that is done, it's just a matter of uploading the Gerbers, PCB will review the board and then it's just a matter of using your coupons and paying. And well, now it's time to wait. Package for Just Farron. A package for me? What could this be? So let's see what I got here. Oh, I got some stickers. Piece of pen. Nice. And my baby. I really thought this just about anything you can do yourself wouldn't have come out. Um, I thought it would, sometimes it, it gets smudged, but you know, it came out really, really, like it's so readable. I printed out the schematic, so I'm just going to verify that all the, um, all the pins are connected correctly. Alright, so we're looking at that. Right, so everything everything checks out. I need to add the Arduino. Now, before I do any soldering, I need to make sure that this DC to DC converter is set to output 5 volts and I need to put a little dab of glue gun on that potentiometer just to make sure that it's, it stays there. Right, so there we go. 5.0 volts. I'll take a little bit of glue gun and just dab it on that pot there to prevent it from moving in the future. So something really important that I forgot to do after the DC to DC module is to remove the pins from the, this 8x8 LED matrix and replace them with some straight pins going straight down. So now it's just time to assemble the board and then do some soldering. So it powers up and stuff fine, right? So now it's just to update the code. I love that how the bow came out. Ah, uh, and the back. Uh. So the code is going to be a little bit different this year. Again, you need an FTDI programmer. Um, this one I have has male heads on the outside. And this also has male heads. So I made a female to female um, jumper to just cause that to jack right in there. So again, the code this year is a bit different. We have seven LEDs now, or well, seven lights to control. And obviously I added a trim pot here. Here, I'm just doing a check for the pot to see what level the pot is at. And that's gonna allow us to set what level amplitude triggers the lights. And again, we are doing a normal check where we strobe um, the MSG to give us each band, sense that band, and then determine now whether to put on the light or not. And that's actually how simple the code is. All right, so one really important thing you have to do when dealing with these Pro Minis is you're clicking your board as an Arduino Nano, and you're using the old bootloader. 
click your comport and you click program right so the moment of truth now is to test this out and then i can use this to set the level at which the lights are triggered at so the bar has to cross that bar this line here before a light is triggered All right, so with the code and PCB done, the last thing to do is to set up those plugs with the solid state relays. So here I have the control board. I have two plug banks. Um, one, two, three, four would be for the first um, relays. And then one, two, three and with the normal plug would be on this side also. I have the solid state relays and GSD crimps and then some electrical cable there, Ethernet cable to run all the cords. So when setting up these relays, I highly recommend you seek the help from a licensed electrician. I am a licensed electrician, if you didn't know. Um, and the reason why it's AC voltages can be very dangerous, even more when they're wired incorrectly. Um, additionally, these relays could only handle up to 2 amps. So if you're using 110 like me, um, you shouldn't have a bunch of lights that exceed 200 watts per plug. So that's about it for the plugs. So let's head outside and test the system. Right now it's still a little bit bright outside, so let's do something about that. So that's more like it. Um, so now it's time to start the show. Now I did put the potentiometer um, on the box to put on all the lights, so I'm just gonna adjust it to the middle. And the lights will come off. So I'm putting it, I'm setting it to the middle right now. Um, that way, once the audio levels pass that middle bar, it will put on the lights, so all the lights came off. So hey everyone, as you can see the system is working really nicely in my yard. I couldn't have asked for a better working project, as you can see. Um, the solid state relays are working much better than the, than the mechanical relays last year. Um, so that's a very good plus. Um, you're not hearing a sound from the relays. Um, so let me know if you have any comments, suggestions for next year. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next year. Um, but let me know any comments below. Don't forget while you're down there, hit that like button. Do consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. I wish everybody a merry and safe Christmas and a happy new year. And I will see you guys next year.